in the collective seasons of both Virginia Tech and Syracuse. Jesse Edwards, Grant Basile get us going. And great to have you tonight on ACC Network. Well, of course, Tech opens in the man-to-man. -man. Here's the Hokie lineup. We told you about Collins with Couture, Padula, Basile, and Mutz. And there is Basile from the corner. The Virginia Tech Hokies, Wes, when they're right, they're relying heavily on the three-point basket. Mike Young's not going to be happy with that back then. Now Gerard leads the break. He'll try and skip it ahead. They're on the way to Basile. Turned over by the orange. Here's Padula in transition. The lob is done for Justin Mutz. That was not a perfect pass. Edwards rolls and will score easily. You know, defending that screen, and they just let Edwards go. Five-all ball game. We've played almost three minutes. There's that high post pass. Nice catch, Basile on the bounce. He's got five early. And Edwards will pull that away for the orange. Syracuse doing a nice job of not allowing any second chance opportunities. Taylor a three. Justin Taylor, who plays about 17 minutes of contest. Ooh. There's another look, and Basile scores and draws the foul on Edwards. Basile missed the chance at the three-point play, so a one-point lead for Virginia Tech and a lob and dunk. Mensa. Special delivery, and Jesse Edwards has got a pair of field goals. He's trying to find the crease in the zone. Couture, quick shot. And what a follow by Collins. Here's Mutz. He seems to be the guy. Basile the dunk. Monir Hema, the 6'11 sophomore transfer from Niger, checks into the lineup. He plays right there in front of Mutz. Here's Couture out of the corner. Torrance and the Orange are just hoping for a basket here. Kick out three from the front. And wow. how about wow. Judah wow. Mintz's eighth about three that? of the year? But somehow he's able to score. Syracuse came out of a drought on the three by Mintz a moment ago. And here's another look out of Couture from the right corner. 75th conference game. We had 75 down, 75 to go before we get to Greensboro. There's a runner and another acrobatic score for Mintz. Yep. We said Mintz is really aggressive, and he is hard to stay in front of. Here's Padula to the foul line for Mintz. Quick kick to the corner for Collins. Look at an open three, Couture. Aggression can't move the ball any better than that. Melijal Poteet. He's coming to the ball game to run that baseline against the zone. Basile now what plays the post and a nice pass. Poteet the basket. The tour out front. Padula on the bench with the fouls. Basile moves to the post area and here's Collins at three. Five for Collins. That's his 11th three of the year. And the orange back on the attack. Down 12. They need a three and Taylor obliges. Wes, that's what I'm talking about. That time came Taylor. Justin Taylor, who played his final year at IMG Academy in Florida, but is a Charlottesville product. A couple of Virginians on this roster. Here is Collins launching and hitting. And we see Chris Bell, of course. Freshman from Concord, California. Inside, this is Brown maneuvering around and scoring. Second field goal for Malik Brown. He's only down 10, yeah. and they really haven't gotten anything going yet on offense. Camden left open again. He'll hit. Well, you know, if you shoot enough, eventually it's going in. And that's Tour. He's so versatile. Three ball Collins. MJ Collins. The lead is blown to 16 at this point. Here's Taylor trying to answer, and does. Straw to stir the drink tonight, if you will, in the first half. Couture attacking. Skip pass. Camden thought about it. Ten to shoot. Couture. Eventually, you're going to get a wide open shot. 16-point lead, and Mintz pushes it off the glass and in. Uh, you got the idea that time. That is some offensive performance for the Hokies. You notice the zone now contracting a little bit, trying to find Mutz. There's Basile scoring easily through a double team. Camden. 
looking for some help. There is Florida pass. Back door slapped out by Brown, but right to Camden. 90 seconds to go in this first half. A sparkling opening 20 minutes for the Hokies. Oh boy, Fatour left open. There's Mutz knocked out of there. Well played. Manier inside. Brown on the finish. That's generally a staple. Camden now, 13 seconds to play. Brown gambled on the steal. Eight seconds. Here's Couture. Now Basilia three. Sure. Why not? Pretty much a sellout here tonight at the Castle on a Saturday night. Great environment. Here is Edwards rolling and scoring. Third field goal for Jesse Edwards. Collins will try and unlock the basket. Nope. Long miss. Basili. Cleaning up inside, skips for Couture. Three ball. Got it. Six threes. I'm going to miss it. Yep, we're all going to miss Billy Packer. Here's Basili on the catch. And he will oh. score with the right hand. That youngster Malik Brown with the ball, drawing his first start of the year tonight, and gets the dunk on the baseline. Not quite so easy to get the ball in the middle of that zone. Here's Collins. Camden. Quick entry. Basili. Oh, nice turn and score. Really skilled, Wes. That's not a tough, that's not an easy shot. That little six-foot jump hook. Mince hits. A little bit out of the reach of Basili. <laughs> One of the few mistakes Mutz has made tonight. Here's Taylor, a catch-and-shoot three. Oh, Justin Taylor, I'm impressed, Dan. And all the threes he's made, Wetch, have been of the catch-and-shoot variety. Yep. Here's Collins getting it to Camden. Now Mutz feeds Basile. Yeah, you get a certificate for bacon. Corey Alexander and I walked out of here with some certificates last year for bacon. Here, here's Brown again. Boy, the pressure of... I mean, Syracuse has clawed their way back into it. And trailed by as many as 22 of the orange. Here's Mintz, a fall away two is good. Thoughts as well as look at updated standings and more. Here is Mox finishing from Basili. Just the second field goal for the grad student, Justin Mutz. Wes, and that's the way you want to attack a press. Wes, the Hokies have been, I think, a little bit passive in attacking this press, but not that time. Here's Collins. Nice pass, Basili, and it rolls in. What a night for Basili. Mutz, the jump shot, fell off the rim. Basili, the rebound. First one blocked, second one good. <laughs> it was humiliating. <laughs> Gerard, three ball for the orange out of the timeout. Here's Basili, a real three. And the rebound for Brown, and he saved it to Camden, who scored. Culpepper, Virginia. That ball got turned over. Here's Edwards, and then stolen by Couture and Mutz. It's been impacted by hitting just one of their last eight from the floor in a three-minute scoring drought here. And Torrance will end all of that with the drop. Syracuse does not have time to uh, sour. They have Virginia Monday night at home, Dan. And there's Gerard on the drive. And Virginia, big win wow. today against Boston College. Wow. Mutz from a terrific drive. Ten and a half, 12 in the game for Justin Mutz. What hasn't Mutz done today? Oh. Terrific night for Mutz. He's got 11 rebounds. He's got eight assists. And there's the spinning score for Edwards. After beating Duke on Monday night to get a win here tonight. And a scoop from One Torrance. He's got eight all in the second half. A whisker of a triple-double. 11 points, 12 rebounds, and eight assists tonight as Virginia Tech made this look easy.